Hey everyone, Jake from Optimus Futures here bringing you a new tutorial and in this video I'll be walking you through the process of customizing your layout on the brand new RTrader mobile app. This can be used in conjunction with essentially any other platform that is used by Rhythmic. So this could be a great way to navigate and monitor through the market and monitor your position while you're away from your computer or on the go. But please note that any mobile device operation such as this mobile app is subject to the strength of your cell network. So you could be in areas where your cellular network is not operational or may not have any signals, which could potentially cause the inability to execute orders, exit, exit positions, or even send multiple orders at the same time. So just keep in mind, if you use this in a, in a bad network, you are responsible for all your trades, executions, and any deficits that occur. So in our opinion, it may be best to do this on a strong cellular network or even connected to Wi-Fi. Now that being said, let's jump into this. To customize your workspace, once you're logged into the RTrader mobile app, you're going to want to either click on the left icon in the top left, this orange hamburger icon, or by clicking on this plus button in the top right. Now, this will essentially allow you to add symbols to your workspace. And the whole platform is revolved around this main workspace, which we're on right now. Now to add these symbols, you're going to want to click the plus button and start to enter in a symbol that you'd like to trade or monitor the market for. Now, as you can see here in this text field, it asks you to enter in a symbol followed by the exchange. So as you can see, they put an example for the E-mini S&P 500 futures. And that's what I'll start off with. So make this all caps. And once you're in caps lock, type in the symbol, which is ES, put period, and then the exchange, which is under the CME. I accidentally spelled that incorrectly, so let's do that again, ES.CME. Once that's in, I click on the green plus button. And as you can see, we have a market snapshot of this, the ES, which is on the CME exchange. We have our product. If we were in a position, you would see the positions laid out there. As you can see, the basket icon is your working orders, and then the little shopping bag is your positions. You can also see I've made a couple trades on the yes today. Uh, that's represented by the 1250 in the green. That means I'm positive 1250 on the day. Um, you can see the time of the market. You can see the current quotes moving. Unfortunately, the market is closed as I'm making this video, so it's not actively moving, but you can see the current bid ask prices. You can scroll through this and see your dome. Again, the market is closed currently, so there's no activity. But of course, if this was an open market, you'd see this fluctuating up and down. You can scroll the different prices and see your bid and ask data. And then you could also place trades to this. Now we do have another video showing you how to execute orders through this software and how to, you know, just manage the entire thing in general. So if you're looking for a tutorial on that, you know, look through our, our, our trader mobile playlist. We'll show you how to do things there. This video is just going to be focused on pure customization. And again, the last little tab of this uh, new panel that I've added here shows all your working orders and completed orders for the day. You can see those down here. Now let's go over to the other side of our workspace, the orange hamburger icon button. Now from here, you could also add symbols. So if you want to add any symbols, you can go down to the bottom and also click this plus button. Let's check out a different symbol on a different exchange. This time, let's do the E-mini Dow futures. The symbol for that is YM. And the symbol is on the CBOT. So again, you follow the symbol with a period and then the exchange. Once I'm ready, I click the plus button and it adds it to both my main workspace along with my sidebar. So if you need to swap back and forth on glance, you know, you could just click these. If you have a ton of symbols in here, it's honestly probably easier to use this sidebar. That way it just automatically brings you to it. Right now there's only two, so it's a little bit more manageable to swap through these. But again, it's whatever you prefer. Let's do another symbol on a different exchange. Let's do crude oil. That's going to be CL, and the exchange for that is NYMEX. Click on the plus button. Scroll down, there we go, and let's do one more. This time, let's do one, the one last main exchange that's going to be the COMEX exchange. Let's do gold. The symbol for gold is GC, again, followed by period, 
type in the exchange, which is COMEX, click on the blue plus, and there we have it. So now we have four symbols on four different exchanges. Again, you can click through these to automatically scroll to it. You can see it automatically just does it for me. I don't have to click on anything other than the symbol name. Right here, we have a quick snapshot of the change in the market. We see both how many points it's up or down in, and then we also see the change in percentage. Now, if you want to, you could also use these buttons on the bottom, the A to Z up and down arrow buttons to organize this for you. So if you click on it, it'll adjust it into, you know, alphabetical order, um, you know, ascending or descending, depending on how you have this uh, configured. Now for your workspace, there are some customization buttons. So we'll, uh, we'll show that off in another video. And then there are some, of course, help options. If you have any questions, you can contact Rhythmic or you can contact us as well. Now that's basically it for the workspace features. You know, this platform is very simple yet effective. It's just really a way, you know, as a bridge to monitor the market or stay on top of your positions when you're away from the computer. Um, the customizations at this point, at least, are simple yet effective. Uh, just some other things to keep in mind is in the bottom left of these panels. You also have these three little hamburger icons. Again, you could trade through here as well. We covered that in our other video. And then we also have the cog wheel in the top left. This way, you could actually turn off and on one-click trading, essentially. So if you don't have this on, it'll ask you to basically double click your order entry buttons. If you have it off, it's just one click. You just have to understand the liability that, you know, if you accidentally click, you don't, you don't really have two clicks to adjust it, right? If you just click it, it's just automatically going to send an order without, you know, confirmation. So keep that in mind. And then you could also customize your P&L to auto open, which is just for open positions, total PL, which is open and working positions, or just turn it off. And then finally, you have a default quantity. Um, if you click the plus or minus buttons, that simply just increases the quantity by one or decreases it. Or you can use these big ones to adjust by 10. And then finally, if you're not happy with your workspace and want to rearrange things, just simply click on the red X in the top right, and that gets rid of them. Again, really quick, simple tutorial. That's about it for this one. Uh, again, we have a whole, whole playlist coming out for these uh, videos. We have a whole entire walkthrough that covers sort of everything. And then we have specific videos like these ones, which is narrowed down on the particular features. So if you have any questions, again, feel free to contact us. You can make, put a contact or a comment in the section below, or feel free to reach out on our community forum. That's community.optimistfutures.com. And feel free to reach out and make a forum thread there. Thanks for watching and we hope this video helped.